Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Well, with Avengers Endgame officially one years old, we saw the Russo brothers take to Twitter to do a one year watch party along with some commentary which revealed a lot of really awesome behind the scenes secrets and knowledge and other little trivia facts from when they were working on Avengers Endgame. And if you were a fan of Avengers Endgame or just a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, some of the stuff that they tweeted out, and they tweeted out a ton of stuff, is extremely awesome to see. So today, we are going to break down everything that we have learned about Avengers Endgame from this Russo brother watch party and take a little bit of a closer look. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Now more or less they went somewhat in a chronological order when they were detailing some of the things that they gave more information about, little screenshots they tweeted about and other snippets along the way. But at the very beginning of the movie when we have the scene with Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye and his family, Lila Barton, Clint Barton's daughter, is actually playing played by Joe Russo's real daughter, Ava. And in real life, Jeremy Renner's real daughter is also named Ava, so it actually was interesting casting there. When they were shooting the scenes of them inside the ship after they were kind of all reunited and they were heading to go kill Thanos towards the beginning of the movie, that was actually Brie Larson's first ever day on set. And they actually shared a video of Brie Larson getting to meet some of her co-stars for the very first time in the MCU. CU format. They also made a nod to all of the different Easter eggs throughout the course of the MCU that have references to the TV show The Community. We also know that Joe Russo's two oldest children, Sophia and Basil, are in the memorial scene in Avengers Endgame, which they shared with fans over Twitter. The children in the diner scene with Professor Hulk are actually Anthony and Joe Russo's sons and daughters and nephews, respectively, and they shared a clip of of that scene with Mark Ruffalo in full on motion capture suit. We also got the information that Tony Stark's lake house is actually the same property where they shot the final battle in Wakanda for Avengers Infinity War, which is really interesting that the lake house is literally just a little down the road in real life locations. We also got information of a deleted scene that had Thor peeing off a balcony in Asgard to kind of show how far this character has changed over the course of the five year period. However, they ended up cutting the scene out as they felt like people could probably already understand that Thor had changed significantly over that five year period. The Russo brothers also shared a video clip of how they changed a street in downtown Atlanta to look like Tokyo for the scene where we see Ronin or Hawkeye for the first time after the snap. Yeah. The Russo brothers also gave us a behind the scenes look when they were getting ready to shoot the Asgard scenes from the Durham Cathedral and they had to listen to a choir rehearsal first and wait for them to finish up, but the behind the scenes shot is very interesting. They also shared this photo of the rebuilt set from the Avengers headquarters in New York from the first Avengers movie that was in the time travel sequence in Avengers Endgame. And they talked about how awesome it is to get to work with the same cast year after year, but it's really cool to see, of course, the cast once again back together in this rebuilt version of an iconic area from an earlier movie. They also gave us some insight to the elevator sequence that was in Captain America Winter Soldier and talked about how 
Originally, that fight scene took four days to film. However, the version that we see in Endgame, since there wasn't a fight scene, only took about three hours, which is hilarious and awesome at the same time. During the watch party on Twitter, the Russo brothers talked about how they had to reshoot the scene between the Hulk and the Ancient One because it's a very difficult scene to get right when you have to not only do somewhat of an exposition dump and explain time travel, but also convey emotion at the same time. And they talked about how it's one of the harder scenes to pull off. So it's one of those scenes that you should really appreciate if you go back and rewatch the movie. This is another one that's really interesting and one you don't really think about often, but for the whole sequence where we see Nebula kind of being taken apart and scanned by Thanos, it actually involved Karen Gillian having to lay in a six foot suspended platform and keep her head tilted up the entire time, which probably something really uncomfortable. And they shared a picture of the model of the set. Some of the best things that came out of this watch party though are definitely the behind the scenes little clips that were filmed on phones. There's this one that was shared on the Twitter account that shows a behind the scenes of Tony, Captain America, and Ant-Man when they were shooting the New York sequences. Listen to me, listen to me, all right? If you do this and it doesn't work, you're never coming back. Thanks for the pet talk, Miss Ant. Cool. Nailed it! Ladies and gentlemen, hi. <laughs> That is a rock! Pass we also got news, or at least some information, that there are, and there is, somewhere out there, footage of 30 minutes of Don Cheadle just completely destroying Thor in some sort of improv session that he did. Now, they said it's hilarious, but we haven't gotten to see it yet, and this is now the top list of lost media that we really, really want to see, just because Don Cheadle's actually a very underrated and hilarious actor. They also talked a lot about, during the motion capture sequence, as we know, actors like Mark Ruffalo are actually there shooting with the other actors while they're doing the scenes, and he's just in his full-on motion capture suit. And they tweeted out information that during a lot of these scenes, it's just Mark Ruffalo standing on top of a box in the tight motion capture suit. And that's really interesting contextually when you think about it. They also shared this photo of Call Obsidian to scale, which would give them a better idea when they were writing out different types of scenes. And you can see Joe Russo holding Cole Obsidian's hand, which is great. We also got a behind the scenes look of what they call an element shoot, which is where we see the van from the final battle and just somewhat of an explosion coming out of it. Three, two, one, action. They also showed some really awesome behind the scenes footage of Chris Evans last day playing Captain America and it looks like a very emotional but exciting moment for everyone involved in the film. Similarly, we got the final day on set for Robert Downey Jr., another very strong and emotional sequence, we are sure, and honestly, the clip is really wholesome to see. We also got footage of Chris Evans as old Captain America or old Steve Rogers, and he's just running around having a good old time. Three years of commercial. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. Ready? You know they made that into a <laughs> 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 so what did you guys think of all of these extra scenes and the commentary from the watch party that the Russo brothers did? Did you enjoy getting this information? Do you think the Russo brothers should do more stuff like this in the future? Personally, we'd love to see every movie they're involved in going forward that they do something along these lines just because it's so awesome to see. But let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you want more updates and news just like this, make sure you guys are subscribed here to Film Artsy as we upload brand new videos like this every single day of the week and we'll see you guys all next time with a brand new video. I'm talking. I'm about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Mm -hmm. See you guys.